All right, man, Sketch Pet Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to Dr. Omar talking about Eminem, saying that he ain't the best or one of the best rappers of all time. So look, we be back, man, Sketch Pad. You know what it is. Who raised you? That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I yeah, can't I understand it neither. I'm just ahead of it. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Listen, we back. So look, man. Dr. Umar has some things to say about Eminem, and we're going to listen to it, and then we're going to come back and discuss how we feel about what he said. So let's get it, man. That's your question. You don't think Eminem Hold is on, one of the best jump. rappers of all time? According to who? You. Rap fans. Let me say something to you, and this is going to my African fundamentalism. No non-African can ever be the best of anything African. It is an insult to the ancestors, it is an insult to the race, and it is an insult to every black person. Do you think I could go to Palestine and be the best anything of Palestinian culture? You never see that. You think I could go to go to Israel and be the best of anything in Israel, whether it be a cook, an instrumentalist, a dancer? Hell no. And we have to stop yeah, but naming non-African people, Joe. But I disagree. Stay with me though, let me finish this. We got to stop naming non-African people as being the best of any aspect of our cultural product Joe, I think you because can. it is an insult. You we, can. Stop it is an insult. we can acknowledge that the talent is the best. Yes, but, I can but, acknowledge but, Eminem's but title. We should, he's, but let me tell you. Go ahead. What, what, for you to put him at the top, that's, 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 that's white end. supremacy. Let me tell you this. This. That's white supremacy. What's, what's white culture? I don't see Eminem building no schools and hospitals. I don't see DJ Khaled building no schools and hospitals. I don't see DJ Vlad building no damn banks and supermarkets. Yo, I'm asking you. Hell no. No. You don't think Eminem is one? Oh man, I'm about to tear this nigga up, man. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, hold on. So go ahead, brother. Speak your piece. Well, first of all, right. Okay, so let's. Okay, we we talk about entertainment aspects, right? So let's just go into that. All right, so we got sports, we got music. So I'm gonna use sports, and of course we're gonna use music is the two things, right? In sports, we have a lot of European basketball players that are great. So is it fair to go say that these people are not great at the sport of basketball when they've been studying the sport since its inception? Is it say it, 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 or is that what we're saying? Because if we're talking about race, we got people like Larry Bird. He's known as one of the goats. Are you gonna go say that Larry Bird? Is not one of the goats of his time. Is that what you're saying? Are you gonna go on and say that uh what what what's the what's the guy uh for the Lakers? He's the uh the Lakers emblem. Uh Jerry West. Wow. Jerry West. Are you gonna go say that Jerry West is not one of the ghosts of his time? Is that what you're saying? Because when you say stuff like that, you're basically taking away from every single person that of non-black race that has studied the craft of anything for such a long period of time and became great at it you're basically taken away from them you can't go tell somebody that they're not great at something that's that that's how i look at it if they're the best at what they do they're the best at what they do 
how am I, because, oh, yeah, we started it first. How can I go tell another person, oh, yeah, you can't be great at this because we started it first. That is, oh, you can't be better at this than any, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't see how that makes any sense. So when you, so it's the same thing with music. Eminem, yes, he's one of the GOATs. Top five. I don't care what homie say. He getting pushed back on this one. The guy is great. He is great. He's going to go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, in his class ever. And that's hard for me to say because I'm a Jada Kiss fan. I've been a Kiss fan since day one. But when you look at his body of work, when you look at how he raps, how he puts words together, how he does all these things and ties it all in, you can't take that away from him. So you want to take away his artistry because of his race? Like, that doesn't make any sense. See, this is the type of things that I be talking about when it comes to stuff because, like, you can't, this has nothing to do with race, period. It's just talent. The guy's a talented individual, period. You can't take that away from him. You know, so I, man, when I see stuff and hear stuff like this, man, I just be like, man, whatever, whatever. That's his opinion, whatever. To me, nah, man. He he definitely in that class, period. I don't care. I, I don't I'm not really concerned what he says when it comes to that because to me that doesn't make any sense. You know, then he's you know, like cause then that means you're that means you're taken away from everybody else as well. So whatever. Yeah, yeah. you gotta put your uh John on silent cause uh put your own uh Oh, it is just. Joint. Yeah, my bad. Look, man. I know y'all got a lot of respect for Umar. I got a lot of respect for Umar. We all got a lot of respect for Umar. But he be saying some stupid shit sometimes, and this is one of those things where it's stupid for you to say. So look, let's just use basketball for example. Basketball wasn't created by a black man, was it? Most of the basketball players back in the day wasn't black. Football wasn't black. Who's dominating now? Who's dominating now? Black people. So what are you going to say? That black people can't be the best at sports, at, at football or basketball? That's what you're going to say? And don't give me this whole bullshit about they were playing football in, in Africa or basketball in Africa. Don't give me that. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't have that documentation. We do have documentation of American sports being played here by white people, and now they're dominated by black people. Correct? Yes. That's one. Two, you can't say that people can't be the best at something because they're not from there. That doesn't make sense at all. There's a lot of people that came to America that's better at things here, and they're not from America. Yeah. That's two. And that's two. Three, you're talking about culture. So he said the culture. You can't be, that's that, that's that, that, that's white supremacy, brother. So you're telling me because people say that Eminem is the best rapper, who a, a person who could put words together better than most people. I would argue better than every rapper. Put words together. He, that's white supremacy? Because he can put words together better than you. So let me get this right, Umar. If Umar, you decided to rap, I supposed to say that you're better than Eminem because you're black. What sense does that make? That doesn't make sense. From, from an African root culture standpoint, knock it the fuck off. Rap started in America, homeboy. Didn't start in Africa. Maybe Beats did. 
but rap did not. Rap started in Harlem. So you can't say that it started in Africa, maybe because you want to say because we're black. Yeah, but it didn't start there. Just like certain rock music didn't start, start over here, started over there. So what cracks me up about people like him is they always trying to use the, the, the word culture. But guess what? Black culture ain't black culture anymore. Everybody uses it now. People from Japan, people from Sudan, people from Cambodia, people from uh, uh, Dominican Republic. Everybody uses it now. It's not just black culture anymore. Hip hop isn't just black culture because if it was, it'll just be with black people. Yeah. You don't see a lot of black people doing Latin music. Do you? Do you see a lot of black people doing Latin music? Why do you think that is? I I have yet to see that. They probably think that is might be a few, but But, but the majority, do you see, do you see the Japanese doing Latin music? No, why you think that is? Because the culture is not, it's not black culture anymore. Hip hop is the culture. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's not just black culture. We birthed it and it went on. Right. That's it. So when he say stuff like this, I question him because he said something about DJ Khaled. Is DJ Khaled white? I don't think so. No, he... He, I believe what he was trying to make reference to was like, uh, Cal- no, he know. I know what he was saying, bro. Don't yeah. try to kick cake for this dude. I know what he was saying. No, I, he, I wasn't, but yes, bro. Look, to... he said DJ Khaled right after he said yeah. white supremacy. Then he said, he said DJ Khaled, and then he said Vlad. He said, I don't see DJ Khaled building any schools. I don't see Vlad building any schools. DJ Khaled, I don't think he's even white. Nah, he's uh, he's like uh, he's like Middle Eastern or something like that. I, f- I forgot. But I know- the point that's even worse. Because my point is, if you're gonna use him and say white supremacy because Eminem's white and Vlad is white, DJ Khaled is not white. So what are you saying? And every listen, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say this. Umar is, Umar is, is is amazing at at sometimes. He's amazing, but most of the time he sounds like polished shit. He sounds like somebody polished a piece of shit. That's it. He don't sound like to me. He don't sound like no Jordan Peterson. He don't sound like no Thomas Sowell. He don't sound like no Ben Shapiro. He sounds like polished shit. Because all he do is race bait and divide people. That's it. He talking about white supremacy and he talking about we should do this with with. uh, uh. Listen, brother, let me explain something to you, brother. Those are the old times, brother. It's over. That's over. You have a lot of black people are married to white people now, bro. They're already integrated. You can't stop it. It's done and over with. And, and, and you know and you know what another thing too that I noticed that he did very 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 slick he very slick motherfucker man he plugged his school he gonna say basically he said it from his standpoint of he don't like Eminem because he feels as though it's white supremacy to say Eminem is one of the best or it's the best because he said he acknowledged that he's good but he didn't say he's one of the best but he said that he feels as though it's white supremacy. And then if, then he slid that in there and said, I don't see Eminem trying to build any schools because you know who's trying to build the school? Him. And he's been trying to build this school for a long time. Because he, is he really trying to build a school? So that's my, that's my thing. So what, what really kills me about him is you don't really know what side he stands on. You don't. Yeah. Because yeah. he'll say one thing, and he'll do something different. Let's all go back to Africa. Why? Why are we all going to go back to Africa? For what? This is our home. We were born here. 
We could go visit. Ain't nothing wrong with Africa. But why are we going to go back to Africa? For what? We were born in America. So we, so we just leave and go back to Africa. That's, that's what he's saying. Let's just go back to Africa. For what? <laughs> For what? We had to start over again. Learn all this other stuff. We had to learn all the dialects in Africa. Right? We had to learn the way they move. The way Africans operate in certain African countries. We have to learn. And that's another thing, too, that he's not mentioning. That Africa is a continent. It has countries in it. It's not just, oh, let's go to Africa. You can't just go to Africa. It's a yeah, bunch of countries part, in Africa. What part of Africa? What, what part of Africa are you going to? Exactly. Because yeah. you can be American and go to Africa. And guess what? They like, hell no. Take your ass back to America. That's just that. See, that's what he don't say. He don't mention that because he probably never even been to Africa. I don't know. He probably did. He better had been. Because if he talking that, <laughs> if he talking that, he never been to Africa, he canceled. Umar, you better have been to Africa. I swear to God, nigga. You better have been to Africa at least one time. <laughs> South Africa, Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, one of them. You better have been somewhere. I'm telling you, because if you've never been to Africa and you talking about let's going back to Africa and you never been there, Shut up, nigga. <laughs> Simple as that. Shut up. You gotta have. I swear to. The, I swear this guy had. He better been Africa, because if he never been there, man, oh man. Because I never seen no pictures of him in Africa. Never. Malcolm X been to Africa. Well, actually, he was in the Middle East. <laughs> Hey man, listen, man. Shout out to Umar though. Fight the good fight, Umar. Fight the good fight. And lose. Because guess what? No matter what you say, no matter what you do, we are humans, man. Humans can integrate. And that's the issue with people don't understand. It's not like white people and black people are different species. They we are all humans. We can integrate and have children. We can ba make babies. It's not like white people are, are, are a different species than black people. Let's say white people were, I don't know, uh, dogs and black people were cats. Not happening, bro. Can't have kids like that. I can understand the, the war then. The cats and the dogs are fighting. I can understand. But we all human. So... That's the part he never wants to talk about. You could say you could talk about culture all you want, but the root thing is we're all human. So it don't matter about culture. Cause guess what? If guess what? If somebody was to invade America, you know culture is out the window because we all sticking together. We all sticking together. Let's say aliens invaded America. You think America's gonna say, well. We need the black culture to stand up for this. But what about the white culture? What about the Chinese culture? You think they're going to say that? Or are you going to pick up weapons and fight against this next week? We're going to become one culture then. That's what I'm saying. So it don't matter. Culture is nothing no more. That's dead. Culture is dead, man. It's all about humans now. So that was my rant. But hey, man, listen, man. I had to get that out. So it is what it is. And, and, and just for the record, and, and just for the record too, when, when he, when, when we, when we speaking of culture, we're not saying like individual culture is dead. No, we're just saying culture as for what this guy is explaining is is, is depleted because how he's how how Umar is explaining it is. Hey, man, listen, bro, let me cut you off right there. I know exactly what I'm saying. The culture no, is dead, man. No, I'm not saying you. I'm saying him. him. No, no. You, you, you. No, you said, you said, you said, you said. Well, when we speak of culture, we ain't saying it. No, no. Culture is dead, bro. It's over. That's what I'm saying. Not individual culture, though. What, individual what, is it, culture. what does that even mean? Individual culture. Well, I got, I have, I have my own culture. I have my own culture. Oh, you see that, yo? How you do 
that? Do what? You put your thumb up in the, uh, in the, in the, was, <laughs> yo, you put your oh, thumb up. Yeah. Do that again. Oh. Like your thumb. What you throwing smack in your head for? <laughs> Look, you see it? Oh, sh. Oh, snap. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Look, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't I know do where it. that came from, yo. That's a, that's something new. That's I don't know, new, man. Bro. That's a, that's some creepy stuff right there. Yeah, he came and put something else. Yeah, I don't think got a little thumb, man. <laughs> he came to he came to put something else up in there. I, um, you got a little thumb. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where that came from, bro. <laughs> hey, man, we out of here, man. Scott's back over there. What's up, ass nigga, man? <laughs>